Here is a list of 10 and more cozy games that are horror, suspense, thriller, eerie, supernatural teens for your enjoyment. These games are a mix of new and old, but also a mix of price range going from $10 to around $40, and maybe there'll be sales by the publishing of this video, so please check that out. And don't forget as well, I always give you options between Steam, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and other platforms. Full disclaimer, I am a scaredy cat, so some of these games I have played, and some of them I have watched, and I'm like, no thank you. First off the list is Bramble the Mountain King, where we follow a young boy who is off to rescue his sister. He has to cross wondrous landscapes with deadly monsters and also creatures that could be friends or foes. And you discover more and more of the intrigue and the mystery as you travel along the game. And all of this is inspired by dark Nordic fables. And it is a grim adventure where you have to see that things are more than meets the eye. This game is very whimsical and pretty to look at. Next game is Harvest Island, released in October 10th, 2023 for Steam. This game is fairly new and I haven't heard much people talk about it, but this game is a horror farming simulator. It is a story driven game where you farm crops, collect critters and you catch fish. You can also discover places like caves, um, vending machines, and a dark underground hidden room along the beach, and you befriend animals that hide in the forest. There's a dynamic of every day getting requests from God that ask you for specific items around the island, and depending on if you listen or don't, you receive blessings from those gods. Those blessings help you upgrade your farm and also build and craft things. It does look like if you don't listen to these gods, you don't seem like you're safe. I'm not playing that. I don't mess with other gods that are not my own god. Okay? Uh-uh. <laughs> I want to sleep at night. And it seems as well that you're not allowed to leave this island suspiciously. Creeks is a puzzle game where you play as a person who by accident ends up in this puzzle of a mansion. You go through room by room trying to find solutions to dozen room designs, evading creatures, and trying to leave the mansion while finding hidden paintings and uncovering great secrets. All you have is your wit and your courage as you slowly descend into a world inhabited by deadly furniture monsters and all you're trying to do is to get back to your home. Creek is for PlayStation and for Steam. Next game is Graveyard Keeper. It's a medieval graveyard simulation game where you play as literally a graveyard keeper who has to solve ethical dilemmas, make maybe questionable decisions, but most importantly, manage a cemetery. <laughs> it's a game where you can also expand into other ventures, follow along a love story, build a whole thriving business, or cut resources where you can, your choices. <laughs> There's also the Graveyard Keeper Last Journey Edition that bundles up several of the games and so you also have access to the DLC and it's on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Steam. Next game is for the Nintendo Switch players and it is Luigi's Mansion 3. In this installment, Luigi travels to a world-class hotel with his friends and finds out that it's a trap. His vacation goes from relaxing to horrific overnight when he finds out that his friends are trapped into paintings and it's up to him to release them and to save the day. We found out also that King Boo is the nemesis returning in this game. It's the Yomawari series. If you don't know Yomawari, there are three different games. I have played the two first ones. All three of the games have the same premise, but each can be played on its own since they have all a different story not connected to each other. Think about it like True Detective. If you've seen that series, you can watch each season without knowing the previous or the season that comes after. It's all disconnected. It's just the same premise. Yomawari Night Alone is the first one where you follow a girl who has lost her dog and her sister and she goes into the town that is Japanese style to find out what's going on and it's at night and she quickly realized she is not alone. I'm trying not to spoil <laughs> while explaining the games a bit. So you have the intrigue, but you don't have the spoiler. And the second one, Yomawari Midnight Shadows, you play as two girls who are out to a night festival and get separated. You play as both of these girls and you go through puzzles in the town as you try to find each other 
and find out how you got separated is by a mysterious attacker so you get to know more of what's going on as well the first one yo my wife played on steam the second one i played on playstation 4 and the third game yo my wife lost in the dark you follow along a girl who awakens in the forest alone with amnesia she has no recollection of how she got there and where she's going and she finds out very quickly that she's actually cursed so she goes through the forest at night trying to find out how to break the curse, where to go. So you have to hide, you have to cover your eyes, and you have to run and hope to survive the night and get back your lost memories. What's cozy about this series is that the art style is very cute and the music is actually very relaxing and nice to hear until the spirits come along and it gives you that suspense and trailer and run for your life type of energy. But it's a very cute overall art style. Next one is Afrofi 1 and 2, which I both spoke about in other videos, but I'll just give a brief summary. In both games, you follow along a group of people who unknowingly open a rift to something of the supernatural nature. I won't spoil, but it's basically a trailer type of game where your choices matter. Who you pick to talk to, who you stop to interact with matters, and it'll also give you different type of endings and different scenarios based on the relationships you make. Next on the list is also a duo, which is Inside and Limbo from the same devs, which is Play Dead. If you've never played either of them, you can play them separately as well, but they're the same type of mystery, suspense, thriller, don't know exactly what's going on, tell you play absolutely everything, and even then, you might still have questions. And in Inside, you play as a boy who seems to try to be escaping from somewhere, it is a dark narrative platformer game that also combines action and pu challenging puzzles. In Limbo, you also follow a boy going through puzzles in an eerie atmospheric environment, also with creatures unknowing trying to kill you. And you're trying to figure out what's really happening, but just know by the title, you're getting a hint. Of. Both games have beautiful and unique art style and still have you questioning what's going on while you're immersed in the story. And I wouldn't call this an easy game either. Not a duo, but will become a trio is Little Nightmares. The third installment of that game is coming out in 2024. But in the meantime, you have Little Nightmares 1, where you follow a young girl who goes aboard a ship and you meet very unique characters who are not so friendly to the new and uninvited uh, passenger. Nightmares 2, you follow along a boy this time, and you meet the girl in the yellow pink coat from the first installment as well, so you have a co-op moment happening. He sets out on a journey with the yellow pink coat girl from the first installment to discover the dark secrets of the signal tower and knows that the journey won't be easy as he keeps discovering the terrible residents of this world. The next games on the list are older games that were only on Steam, but now are also on Nintendo Switch. Mad Father. This is a horror adventure game where you play as an 11-year-old girl, Aya, and uncover the secrets of an incident that has befalled her home. There's experiments happening night after night. There's a truth that you have to discover, and honestly, so many endings to be explored as you venture through the house. The next game is The Witch's House which is inspired by traditional Japanese horror RPG games with puzzle solving and jump scares mixed in between. There's literally almost traps at every turn and sudden and unpredictable deaths. <laughs> Anything can happen at any time and this also has multiple endings, so there's replayability in this game. It has cute pixel art, but combines it with horrific horror and storytelling. Horrific Horror is redundant. Last but not least is Ib. The game is named after the young girl you play as, who is visiting an art gallery and gets separated from her parents who was visiting with her. You go around looking at works of art and you suddenly realize that you're not alone and also that the museum is beginning to change. It's a 2D exploration game set in a mysterious art gallery and very creepy. And there's also multiple endings as you figure out what's happening, as you discover items, and you meet also people in this gallery. This game is also available on Nintendo Switch, as I said previously, and Steam. Please let me know in the comments which games you have played or want to play, or if I miss any of your favorites. 
Maybe I'm Salissa, maybe I'm not, but you can call me Rice because that's my nickname. And thank you for watching the video until now. I like to show you cozy games are not only farming simulations, even though there was one example in this one, but also that gives you other variation in case you don't only want to farm. So if you're not interested in farming and different types of cozy games, please watch this video, which is no farming cozy games or a video that YouTube recommends because I also do lifestyle vlogs and other cozy content creation that is not only gaming, if it interests you. And until next time, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to have a great day. Bye.